Hi there, it's Mir with Engadget, and this here is the Ford C Max Energy. It's the plug in hybrid version of the C Max, which is available as a hybrid in the US, but also available as a regular gasoline and diesel car in Europe. So let's take a quick look. As you can see here, the biggest change obviously is the, uh, the plug in outlet, the standard connector for charging the car. Uh, the car can go 21 miles on pure electric up to 85 miles an hour. So for most commuters, this will actually work out quite well. Let's have a look inside and see what uh, what's different. So as you can see, this is the interior of the uh, C-Max uh, Energy. And on the left here is a special gauge that actually changes color depending on if you're an electric. It's blue. If you're in gasoline, it's, uh, I believe, red. Uh, but it has different modes. You can switch it between a pure EV or uh, keep the electric charge for later EV drive or just uh, make it a standard hybrid. So that's uh, you know that one of the differences. Of course you got Ford Sync here in the middle of the, uh, of the uh, console. Um, Ford Sync with a touch screen entertainment system and uh, you have Ford MyTouch integration with smartphones as well. So in the back, the big change is this battery pack is a bit larger and as you can see it's, it's quite tall and it takes up quite a bit of the trunk space. Uh, the regular C-Max in Europe, the floor would go all the way through at this level and the hybrid, the, the normal hybrid is about this level and so the electric, uh, plug-in electric hybrid as you can see is quite a bit higher. So you lose some cargo capacity but the battery does go for up from 1.4 kilowatt hour to 7.6 kilowatt hour and what that gains you is obviously that pure hybrid, pure electric operation for 21 miles as well as the ability to get a little more power 195 horsepower versus 188 on the regular hybrid because it can draw more current from the battery so as you can see this is the rear but I want to show you how much it takes up this, this battery by folding the seat for you here so this is how the seat folds and you can see this is quite the hum so you, you lose this flatness of the floor that you have on the C-Max in Europe of course it's still a bump on the hybrid but not quite as high so we got a chance to take the C-Max Energy for a test drive and you know it drives very much like a hybrid it's a little softer than the Focus Electric that we really enjoyed driving last time and you know what we can't help but think is that Perhaps this would be a great car to get with a six-speed manual and a diesel, turbo diesel in the US. That way you wouldn't waste the space with the battery in the back, still get great fuel efficiency and a, and a better drive. One of the cool things though is that you can get this panoramic sunroof. It doesn't open, but there's an entire sunshade inside, an entire uh, full glass roof. Um, so anyway, that's the Ford C-Max Energy. Cheers.